welcome to another episode of English Reading Session here on Bright Minds page. Again, I'm your Ate Saila, and today we will be reading a story entitled Curious George Plants a Tree. Let's review some vocabulary words from the story before we read it. Okay, so we heard a friend. Let's check out some vocabulary words first that will help us to better understand our story for today. All right, and our first word is curious. Curious. It means eager to learn or know. Example, sloths are not very curious animals. Again, the word is curious. And for our next word, it is exhibit. Exhibit. It means a show or display of items or information. Example, his favorite museum exhibit was always the mummies. <laughs> Again, our word is exhibit. Now for a third word, it is environment. Environment. It means all the factors surrounding an organism at any time. So, for example, some plants require an environment with a lot of sunlight and very little rain. Again, our word is environment. Now, our next word is pollution. Pollution. It means harmful substances or products in the environment. Example, walking and biking are two ways to get around without creating pollution. Again, our word is pollution. For our next word, it is rally. Rally. It means a large meeting intended to increase group excitement. For example, the students were planning a rally to help the town clean up litter on the beach. Again, our word is rally. Now, for our last word, it is volunteer. Volunteer. It is a person who does a job without pay. So, for example, on Saturdays, she was a volunteer at a local animal shelter. Again, our word is volunteer. Now, the main event. Read the story. All right, so it's time to read our story, Curious George Plants a Tree. George was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today was a good day to be curious. The man with the yellow hat was taking George to the science museum. The museum was one of George's favorite places. There was always something new to see and interesting to learn. Often, there was a special exhibit. George wanted to know what it was today. But first, he had to make his favorite museum stops. The Rocket Room, the Mirror Maze, and the Butterfly Space. Finally, George and his friend made it to the special exhibit's room. The sign read, How You can take care of our planet. George learned many things. How all people, animals, plants, air, and water on the planet make up the environment. How trees help keep the air clean. And how people can help protect the environment from pollution and too much trash. George had a great time and didn't get into any of his usual mischief. 
As he and his friend were leaving, they bumped into the museum director. Dr. Lee looked happy to see him. How is my best monkey visitor? Dr. Lee asked George. I'm so glad I ran into you. I wanted to tell you that we're having a Green Day rally tomorrow at the park. George was curious. Whatever a rally was, he was sure that the park was a good place to do it. We're going to plant a truckload of trees and collect used paper for recycling, Dr. Lee explained. We didn't have much time to advertise, but we need lots of volunteers. How would you like to help out? There was nothing that George liked better than to help. What a great idea, the man agreed. We'll be there. All right, so it's now time for us to answer some questions about the story that we just read. Okay, so the first question is, which of the following might create pollution? A. Factories B. Cars C. Airplanes or D. All of the above If your answer is letter D, all of the above, you are right. Second question. What was the theme of the special exhibit? Is it A, how to care for the planet? B, how to build a rocket? C, how to care for butterflies? Or letter D, how to build a mirror? If your answer is letter A, how to care for the planet, you're correct. Now, for our third question, question. What conclusion can we draw about George from reading this section of the story? Is it A, he usually gets into trouble of some sort? B, he doesn't like going to new places? C, he loves to eat at different restaurants? Or letter D, he doesn't visit the museum very often? If your answer is letter A, he usually gets into trouble of some sort. You're correct. Great job! You beat the level! Okay, we are done for another English reading session here on Bright Minds PH. Thank you so much for joining me. See you again next time. Bye!